three reasons why you can't be an entrepreneur or work for yourself. The first one is because the insecurity that comes with working for yourself. You don't know how much you're gonna get paid, when you're gonna be, get paid, or most significantly, what to do on a daily basis. Let's just face it. You wanna be told when to come into work, what time to leave, and be told exactly what to do. You don't wanna to have to make all those, those hard decisions by yourself, do you? The second reason you can't be an entrepreneur is because you're not willing to take action on your ideas. I do believe that most people have within them a million, a million dollar idea. <laughs> but it's only those who are willing to take action on making it happen that will actually see the money come in from their idea. Let's just face it, in daily life, we get paralyzed by having to make the perfect decision. If you're one of those people who lets perfectionism get in the way of making progress, then you're probably not cut off cut out to being an entrepreneur. You're gonna, you are gonna make mistakes over and over again. You might spend days, weeks, even months investing your time into a project and you're gonna have no idea once you release it whether it's gonna hit or not. It may all just right, go right down the drain and it might be a, a, a blessing in disguise. Or who knows, you might just spend one hour and one of your ideas might hit hard and they might go viral. One of my favorite quotes is that a loser is not someone who comes in second place. A loser is someone who's so scared of failing that they don't even try. And I don't wanna be that type of loser. I wanna be the type of winner, no matter what place he comes in, he always tries. Third reason you can't be an entrepreneur is because you don't even know what you want. You don't know what you're most passionate about. You don't know what your gift is. If I were you, I would get on my knees, and pray to God that he would show you and guide you so you can discover what the gift is that he has given you. Or would you rather just do what everyone else wants you to do and tells you what to do and tells you what you're best at and tells you what you should do with your life? You choose. The truth is, I do believe that some of you guys out there watching this video are entrepreneurs. Follow your heart and take the risk. And I wanna encourage you to do so. It's not easy, it is not easy. The Satan, the devil, will try to hold you down. He's gonna to try to tell you that you're gonna fail, that you're gonna lose, or that your idea is stupid. Well, it's not. So here's, here's your homework. The idea that you've always had in your heart that you wanted to pursue, take a little step in doing something about it today. As soon as you get done watching this video, I want you to do something, whether it's making a phone call, writing it down, um, investing in, in, a, in a tool that you need to carry your idea out. I want you to do something. Take action on it. All right, guys.